Welcome to the Trophy Room Podcast. This is your host, George D. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at sports fans, how people interact with sports, how it affects their lives, you know, a few things, several aspects of the of sports fans and stuff. All right, first, um, people that that aren't into sports have to realize, okay, like, you have different levels of sports fans, okay? Like, you have the people that just, this is a tiny percentage of sports fans, maybe like two or three percent. People that just pretend to like sports so they can fit in. All right, these are like these are like um like girls that want to impress a boy or something. So they'll like buy a jersey or they'll like sit and watch the game or whatever. You know, and this is this is like the posers, okay? We'll call them posers because they're posing. Like they don't really like sports. They could care less what happens, all right? Okay, so that, but that's a tiny percentage because most people won't even invest that. If they don't like sports, they don't like sports. They're not even going to pretend, okay? Like their time is too valuable for them. All right, then after that, you have your casuals. All right, and you have to, like, if you're a hardcore sports fan like myself, you have to be able to identify the casuals and... Be able to have, be able to have a conversation with them on, um, hold on one second here. Okay. And, um, yeah, the casuals and you gotta be able to, you, cause like if you're a hardcore fan and you're trying to have like a hardcore conversation with someone that's casual, you're going to come off looking like a dick, right? Because you're going to be like, no. Like, you're going to be trying to make these points. And then the casual fan is like, you got to be able to to, to, to to tone it down. And you got to be able to engage the casual and have a, a casual conversation, okay? You can't be hardcore when dealing with casuals, all right? You have to be able to, like I said, tone it down, have... Have a respectable conversation, but you can't take them serious because they're not as invested. So, but they're they're important. Casuals are important because because they can like they can bring in revenue and stuff. Okay, like like if you have if you have like ten thousand casual fans. Okay. They can bring you in as much revenue. Okay, let me start that over. Say you have 500 hardcore fans. And they're just going to buy the, the gear of the team. They're going to buy tickets. They're going to... Um, they're gonna they're gonna do everything like to, to, to increase the value of the team. They're going to buy sports gear. Go to the games. Um, all that stuff. Everything that brings in revenue. Okay, there's subscribe to the apps all that stuff all right you got 500 hardcore fans they're gonna bring in a lot of revenue all right but then if you have like 10,000 casual fans they'll bring in as much revenue as those 500 hardcore fans all right and that's revenue that you want you don't want to like shun them out just because they're casuals like you want that revenue, even though they're not going to be as invested. You know, if you could get, like, one out of ten to, like, buy a jersey, you know, or, like, buy season tickets, you know, and then, like, they might go to two or three games. They might give away the other tickets and, like, you know, but you still get that revenue, all right? So casuals are important. So in any aspect of sports, you have to you have to cater to the casuals, even though you might, like, like, you have to get out of this, um, I'm a super hardcore fan, like, because, 
most of society doesn't operate like that. Like most of society doesn't care if they're if a team playing in another state doesn't win. You know, they're like, whatever, who cares? Like, I got stuff to worry about. All right, but your hardcore fans, they're like, they're willing to fight over this stuff. All right, so you got your casuals. That would be like, I don't know what percentage, but it's pretty high. Like, not everyone's a hardcore fan. And then you got your hardcore fans. These are like, and even even in that hardcore percentage, there's like, there's like, sections within that percentage okay you can break that down even further so we'll look at the hardcore like 100 percent of the hardcore fans is like 30 percent of all your fans but in that 30 percent we'll break it down as a hundred out of the out of the hardcore fans there's like like 20 percent that are just like belligerent like ridiculous homers okay they're like like you can't even interact with these people because i'll give you a small example okay a couple years ago there was all over social media was this thing about the minnesota vikings had made the uh nfc championship game and a bunch of their fans went to support them in philadelphia and there was all these videos of how Philadelphia Eagles fans were just berating these Vikings fans, okay? They were just making their, like, they did not care. Those those are that 20% of the hardcore fans. Those belligerent, like, ridiculous, like, like, you can't even, like, they're, they, they are willfully ignorant. Like, they don't care. Like, they, they, they will just talk shit. Like, they're not very smart, all right? They're like, the harder, the more hardcore a sports fan and the more belligerent, the lower the intelligence. All right, so you got to be careful for these because they're, they're, they're like the type that will turn violent and stuff. All right, so you have to like, like you want them as sports fans because they make a lot of noise at your home games. They drink all the beer. You know, they like, they're good as far as like a revenue stream because they'll just spend their whole paycheck on your team so that's that's a thing of beauty if you're like a coo chief chief cfo chief financial law if you're like the dude that's in charge of making money you want a lot of hardcore fans like like this is lovely you don't even have to do a lot of work like you can put out a, sh a crappy team and they're still gonna flock to your stadium because they're not that smart they're, they're like belligerent there's a couple guys that i could mention that are like this but i won't because obviously they'll take it as a personal attack but they're like you can't deal with them because they're, they're, their intelligence level is like you kind of just like engage them here shortly and you're just like yeah i know whatever blah 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 and then you know you gotta distance yourself because like they, they really don't know what they're talking about Alright, and then like the other 80% of that hardcore, they're actually like hardcore fans. Like, they read articles on the team, they listen to their podcast, they like, you know, they keep up with the club. They really, like, they really invest time. They really care what happens on the team. They care who's running the team. Like, they'll know, they might even know who like the secondary or tertiary um, coaches are. Like, stuff like this, you know what I mean? Like, they're actually, like, hardcore fans, but they're not, like, belligerent, all right? They're not, like, unbearable. So there's levels to the sports fans. So, like, if you've had a, a, if you've dealt with a sports fan and you're like, oh, my God, people take sports fans, sports too serious. They're, like, they're out here fighting in the streets. Like, you've dealt with that 20% of the 30%. I hope I didn't lose you there. You're dealing with that 20% of the 30% hardcore fans. All right, these are fans like in, if you've ever seen European football or South American football, they're called the ultras. These motherfuckers are crazy. 
All right, there's no two ways around it. These motherfuckers are just psychotic. Like, like, they, they, they organize fights, like actual fist fights. Like, get 30 of your most hardcore fans that love to run their fucking mouths, okay? Stand on that side of the fucking road. We'll meet out in the wilderness. If you're really about your shit, come and show it. All right, they set up these fucking brawls. 30 people on that side, 30 people on this side, each wearing their own team's colors, all right, and they just walk towards each other, and when they get to about 10 or 15 yards, it's like they just sprint, and before they before they actually fight, it's pretty cool, they like do these chants, they're like war chants, but what they're actually chanting is like um, the club motto. Not model, like not supermodel, but like motto, like M O T T O, like um, like they have like these fight songs, and they just charge each other and they just beat the fuck out of each other, dude. And I was like, I thought it was gangs that were doing that, but then I read the comments and they were like, they had team names on there. They're like hooligans. They call themselves hooligans, ultras. You don't see that too much in the USA because. Like, people are more casual. There are some hardcore fans, but... Those motherfuckers in... Because, like, in Europe, it's, like, a lot more national stuff. Like, it's a lot more prideful. Like, like, like you take a... They take a lot more pride in their soccer. Like, it's... It, it's a, I should, I'll do a whole nother show on European and in South American soccer and some Central American. But... It's pretty fucking insane. Um, but anyway, yeah, like... So if you're a casual, you're just a casual. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. Alright? Like, maybe you got other stuff you gotta worry about. But... There's levels to being a fan. So... To wrap this up, you got your posers, which is a very small percentage. Um... You got your casuals, which I explained, they're very important for teams. Like, you want to cater to these people because there's a lot more casuals. You know, they'll tune into the game when it's on, like, on a, on a Saturday. They'll have it on in the background, but they'll be like, they'll have a cookout, you know. Like, your hardcore fan will be the one sitting there yelling at the screen, you know, drinking beers. Talking shit to the other team's players on the screen. Like, that's your hardcore fan. Your casual fan is the guy that's barbecuing out back. He's got the game on in the living room. You know, he's like, he keeps an eye on it, but not really. He's like, whatever. Hope they, they, he sees that a touchdown wins, he'll kind of clap and, you know, pretend. Like, yeah, that's right, you know. But casual as fuck, right? Like, be for real. And then, um, then you got your ultras and your hardcores, so... You got to be able to um, meet and um, interact with people at these different levels, all right? And honestly, the ultras, they're not even worth interacting with because it's going to lead to just a very unpleasant conversation. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it was it's not even worth wasting time there. So, that's my little two cents on sports fans and i mean there's a lot more i could get into but this podcast is restrictive because i only get 15 minutes so yeah thanks for listening i'm gonna try this sound effect i don't know what it's gonna do but i'm just gonna press it really quick i'll hear it on the playback um I don't know what that just did. I'll find out when I play this back. All right, anyway, thanks for listening. This is George D. checking out in the Trophy Room Podcast.